China has been involved in housing construction projects in various African countries in recent years. But in November 2019, China shocked the world when it constructed 20,000 low-cost residential houses in Africa in just three days. This miraculous achievement was celebrated by tens and thousands of Chinese and African. You might be asking how that is even possible. Well, nothing is impossible with China. Chinese Housing Construction Technology China has made significant strides in the field of housing construction technology in recent years. Chinese construction companies have developed innovative construction methods that allow for faster, safer, and more efficient building of housing projects. One of the key technologies used in Chinese housing construction is prefabrication. This method involves the manufacture of building components off-site in a factory, which are then transported to the construction site for assembly. Prefabrication allows for faster construction times, higher quality control, and reduced waste. Another technology used in Chinese housing construction is 3D printing. This method involves the use of specialized printers to create complex building components from a digital model. 3D printing allows for greater precision and efficiency in construction, as well as the ability to create unique and custom designs. Modular construction is another technology used in Chinese housing construction. This method involves the assembly of prefabricated modules to create a complete building. Modular construction allows for faster construction times, greater flexibility in design, and reduced waste. Finally, Building Information Modeling Beam is a technology used in Chinese housing construction that allows for the creation of 3D digital models of buildings. Beam allows for greater accuracy in design and construction, improved communication among project stakeholders, and reduced waste. Africa's Housing Problems Housing problems in Africa are numerous and complex, affecting millions of people across the continent. One of the most pressing issues is the shortage of affordable housing, particularly in urban areas. Rapid population growth, urbanization, and a lack of investment in housing infrastructure have contributed to this problem. Another major issue is the prevalence of informal settlements, which are often overcrowded and lack basic services such as water, sanitation, and electricity. These settlements are often built on land that is not legally owned by residents, making them vulnerable to eviction and displacement. Additionally, many people in Africa live in poor quality housing that lacks basic amenities such as adequate sanitation, ventilation, and insulation. This can lead to health problems and increased vulnerability to natural disasters. Lack of access to finance is another challenge facing many people in Africa as many are unable to access formal housing finance such as mortgages or loans. This makes it difficult for them to purchase or build their own homes. This makes made a lot of African countries partner with China to build houses that will remove a lot of Africans from the streets. One of those countries amongst others is South Africa. South Africa's insane plans to build 10,000 low-cost houses. South Africa has been involved in several ambitious housing projects with China in recent years to cater to its ever-growing population. The country currently has a population of over 60 million, and overcrowding is one of the major issues in some major cities. One notable the country is developing to curb this problem is the Boikitlong Pressing Project. The Boikitlong Pressing Project is a housing development initiative in South Africa that aims to build over 10,000 affordable housing units in the Boikitlong Township near Johannesburg. The project is being developed by China State Construction Engineering Corporation in partnership with South African company JB Marks. The Boikitlong Pressing Project is part of a broader strategy by the South African government to address the country's critical housing shortage. The project aims to provide affordable housing to families in the Boikitlong Township which is located in the Gauteng province of South Africa and has a population of around 50,000 people. The project involves the construction of a range of housing types, including apartments and single-family homes. The housing units will be built using innovative construction methods, such as prefabrication, 
and modular construction, which can help to reduce costs and improve efficiency. In addition to providing affordable housing, the Boykatlong Pressing Project also aims to create jobs and stimulate economic development in the region. The project is expected to create around 5,000 jobs during the construction phase and will involve the participation of local contractors and suppliers. While the Boykitlong Pressing Project has the potential to address critical housing needs in the region, it has also faced some criticism from residents and activists who are concerned about the impact of the project on the community and the environment. However, proponents argue that the project has the potential to improve living conditions for thousands of families in the Boykitlong Township and contribute to broader economic development in the region. These projects are part of a broader trend of increasing Chinese investment in South Africa's housing and infrastructure sectors. Chinese companies have been involved in a number of other housing projects in South Africa, including the construction of affordable housing units in various townships across the country. While these projects have been praised for their potential to address critical housing needs in South Africa, they have also been criticized by some for various reasons, including concerns about debt and local labor practices. However, others argue that these projects have the potential to contribute to economic development and job creation in the country, and that Chinese investment could play a positive role in addressing South Africa's housing challenges. Another example of Chinese involvement in housing construction in Africa is the Angola Housing Project, which was launched in 2007 and is aimed at building 1 million houses for low-income families in Angola. The project is being carried out by Chinese construction companies and is supported by the Chinese government. The Ethiopia Djibouti Railway Project, which was completed in 2016 and involved the construction of over 30,000 housing units for railway workers. The project was carried out by Chinese companies and was financed by the Chinese government. Importance of Chinese Construction Projects in Africa Chinese construction projects have become increasingly important in Africa in recent years, with China investing billions of dollars in various infrastructure and development projects across the continent. These projects have the potential to contribute to economic development, job creation, and poverty reduction in Africa, and they have been welcomed by many African governments and communities. Some of these benefits include 1. Addressing critical infrastructure needs Many African countries suffer from a lack of basic infrastructure, including roads, bridges, and power generation facilities. Chinese construction projects have helped to address these critical infrastructure needs, which can help to stimulate economic growth and improve living conditions for local communities. 2. Creating jobs Chinese construction projects have the potential to create thousands of jobs in Africa, particularly in the construction and related industries. This can help to reduce poverty and improve economic opportunities for local communities. 3. Improving access to affordable housing Chinese construction projects have also been involved in building affordable housing units for low-income families in Africa which can help to address the critical housing shortage in many African countries. 4. Technology Transfer Chinese construction projects have also helped to transfer technology and know-how to African countries, which can help to build local capacity and contribute to long-term economic development. 5. Diplomatic Relations Chinese construction projects have also been seen as a way to strengthen diplomatic relations between China and African countries, which can help to promote trade, investment, and cultural exchange. Chinese construction projects have the potential to make a significant contribution to economic development and poverty reduction in Africa, and they are likely to remain an important part of the continent's development landscape in the years to come. Criticism Chinese construction projects in Africa have faced significant criticism in recent years, with concerns raised about a range of issues including quality, labor practices, debt, transparency, and environmental impact. Some of the key criticisms of Chinese construction projects in Africa include 1. Quality concerns 
The quality of Chinese-built infrastructure in Africa has been a major concern, with reports of substandard materials and construction practices. This has led to concerns about the safety and durability of Chinese-built infrastructure projects. For example, in Ghana, there have been reports of Chinese-built roads developing potholes and cracks within months of being constructed. 2. Labor Practices There have been concerns about the use of Chinese labor in construction projects in Africa, with reports of poor working conditions, low wages, and exploitative practices. Critics argue that Chinese companies often bring in their workers, rather than hiring local labor, which can lead to tensions with local communities. 3. Debt Concerns There have also been concerns about the level of debt that African countries are taking on as a result of Chinese investment in infrastructure projects. Some critics argue that Chinese loans are contributing to a debt crisis in some African countries, which could have negative long-term economic implications. For example, in Zambia, concerns have been raised about the country's rising debt levels, much of which is owed to China. 4. Lack of Transparency There have been criticisms of the lack of transparency and accountability in some Chinese construction projects in Africa, with concerns about corruption, lack of consultation with local communities, and inadequate environmental and social impact assessments. Critics argue that this lack of transparency can lead to environmental degradation, displacement of local communities, and other negative impacts. In conclusion, China's innovative way of construction has drastically reduced the number of homeless people on the continent in such a short period and has helped in the fostering of development in most African nations. Moving forward, it will be important for African governments and Chinese companies to work together to address the legitimate concerns that have been raised about Chinese housing projects in Africa. By ensuring that these projects are developed in a way that is sustainable, transparent, and beneficial to local communities, Chinese housing projects have the potential to continue to contribute to economic development and poverty reduction in Africa for years to come. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting content.